It is Thursday, a Green Thumb Thursday, and my Green Thumb boyfriend, Justin Rohner, is Here back. Agriscaping Technologies, this is a place to go if you want to get your thumb a little greener. And today we're talking about the spring garden. Already, I feel like we didn't even really have winter. Yeah, we had it for about a week. And I think yeah. it was just last week. And so now we're already in the spring. It's we're 80 degrees. In spring. Oh this my is goodness. crazy. And we're outside. Yeah. Usually we're inside the atrium over there, but we're outside today. These colors are popping. They are in full bloom. And this is what we want to talk about. So, first and foremost, before you can do any planting, your soil has to be healthy. Number one of the seven Number tips. Number one. Soil. If you got really good soil, you're going to have really healthy plants. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really easy. We got a lot of different options that you have out there. The reality is a good blend of a lot of different things mm -hmm. like worm castings. We love using the bone meal. That's great to be adding in your soil. So that's step one. Healthy soil. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very healthy. And also the rotation of the sun and where you plant your items is a big thing because now that we're it's going huge. into spring, it does shift a little bit. It's not the same as it is in it's winter. It's not the same. That no. sun's going to start going higher in the sky. Mm -hmm. So microclimate's very important. We got a whole microclimate mapping system that we teach with agriscaping. No one else teaches it, but Only it's really important. It. Only us. <laughs> so microclimate mapping, knowing which areas are the best place to grow for you in the springtime. We love the A zone and the C mm -hmm. zone for doing other things too. B zone is where everybody else plants, but you got six other places that when you do it right, you got a 30 degree difference. Okay. So you can extend your season for greens all the way through the entire summer if you put it in the right place in your yard so you can grow every place uh -huh. in your yard even indoors okay it's all about the positioning and understanding Correct. that the seasons have changed so you also do some rotation all right again we are doing the seven secrets to a spring garden and this is number three number three binge we don't want to binge on the gardening you want to avoid binge gardening yes. practice a routine if you have just an hour it's good to just do 15 minutes of prep for your soil okay 15 minutes of planting 15 minutes of feeding which is watering first right. and 15 minutes harvesting which is likely weeds oh in your okay. first round. So if you make it a routine, make it like your daily meditation, okay. a moving meditation for yourself. So this is something you have to do every day. Well, either every day or if it's once a week, whatever it is, make it a routine rather okay. than the binge stuff where you just plant a bunch of stuff and then three Leave months it. later you have too much stuff to, right. to even deal with. It's like, avoid that. That's a good healthy tip too. Plus it's yeah. a time for you to maybe just relax. Exactly. Enjoy that hour to yourself. Get out with these beauties right here and just, you know, have some fun. And plus the weather right now is fantastic. It's great. Relax into your yeah. garden. Don't make it a a, a hassle for yourself. All right, so we're talking about the seedlings. This is plant starts for yes. number four. So plant starts, not seeds. Yeah. Birds this time of year really love seeds as well as the little sprouts that start up. So we recommend grabbing some some starters, you know, a four inch pots, the, the six packs that they have out there. Start with some plants that have already done a little growing for you oh, and that'll simplify it. things a lot better. Yeah, look at that. That's a, a red Russian kale. And so you can throw that in. This goes great in an A micro or an E micro climate. Okay. And that's important to note. You don't want it in a full sun space because as winter or as summer really hits uh -huh. in, it'll it'll actually so you have some, some options to choose you. from, from yes. the variations, so you don't have to be just stuck with one type. You have exactly. variations to make your garden really pop. A lot of different things. Even these edible flowers, like the these primrose, is mm -hmm. another one of the edible flowers. And they're so that pretty. Look at yeah, these look colors. At so why not, you know, get in there and have some fun and just make it flourish with all this colorful you can delight. Make a Hawaiian lay out of them. Oh, you can. They're, they're great. Rotation is also key. You got to yes. rotate things out. And we got a cool little rhyme at agriscaping. Some people call it. Our, oh, the, here it goes. The Roner rhyme. Boom, so it's. Boom, boom. Root, fruit, boom, bean, boom, green. Boom, root, fruit, fruit, bean, green. Root, fruit, bean, green. I love it. If you it. rotate, you won't have to till the soil and work all that soil and put a lot of effort into it. Just rotate the different type of crop in the mm -hmm. same location. Never plant the same thing twice in the same spot. Okay, never plant the same thing twice in the same spot. That's all right, right, we got about one minute, so let's jump to the um, the last one, the model great garden. Yeah, model a great gardener. So model model great gardens. We've got a great tours coming up. Mm -hmm. We got a number of tours here in the valley that you can yeah. register for online at agriscaping.com. You can come and check out my garden. We made some additions. It's fantastic. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's even so better much now. To see. Okay, you rotate. We've made some out. things. Okay. We removed some grass. Mm -hmm. We added a little pond, and we've got some other little cool little space there, a fire pit, and other things. And so there's a lot of new additions yeah. that we've had. So you want to come check that out if you haven't seen my gardens yet come and check it out again at agriscaping.com as well as five other gardens that we're going to visit actually a little bit later into February nice. that you'll be able to register and go check out some other gardens that we've helped develop here in the Phoenix area. And I'm telling you right now, Justin does sell out. People just gravitate to this because they want the tips so their garden will pop just like this. Go to our yep. website as well, aztv.com. We'll have a link for everything. Get to know Justin and just get that garden beautiful for spring. All right, we'll be back with more here on Arizona Daily Mix. We're talking Hollywood headlines when we get back.